Love Twin Set. Thanks so much again for logging back on. So today's video, go on sir. We are talking our beloved backless Gucci loafers. We have so many questions coming through our inbox and email about whether they're a good investment, how to style them and kind of how different ways to wear them. So we thought we'd dedicate today's videos on video even on five ways to style the backless Gucci loafers. But more importantly, yeah. I also think we get so many questions on which Gucci, if we yes. were to invest in one pair, because we are quite sick in the head, we do own quite a few, but we've had them for years. And we look, have, can we just appreciate how well worn they are? Yeah, so we were thinking this, because yeah, we've had so many questions, like which one, if we could buy one pair, or yeah. which are the pair that we wear the most, what would they be? Definitely black, you've got to go black. And I do think the slip-ons. Yeah, and do you know what, I actually have the loafer star, don't I? You never and really wear I never them, wear them because I find them a bit manny. I don't know, there's something about seeing the Feels back of relaxed. your ankle that's really flattering if you're whether you're wearing a skinny jean or a winder jean or yeah. a trouser or a dress, whereas the loafer feels quite flat on the foot, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, they are quite masculine, I guess. So, these are super flattering, really easy to wear, and definitely, if you're going to invest in one okay, pair, it would be these. We would say black. And just question that we always often get asked is about the sizing. Yes. So, what size have you got? So, I'm normally a 39, which is UK 6, and I've actually got these in a 38 and a half. But interestingly, I'm a five. Yeah. But these are a thirty. But I think I actually got these in a thirty and a half because I wasn't a thirty nine. <laughs> so that was. I think. <laughs> I would so say they're true to size. True to size. So ignore the fact. That ignore what she just said. Basically, get your size. That's my other ones are a thirty nine. Thinking about it. Okay, so let's start with workwear. Okay, so I would say, as a rule, I don't know if you agree with me, that the loafer has quite like a smart connotation. Oh no, for sure. So I think. First things first, let's talk how you can wear them to work. Now, when I used to work in an office, I don't love wearing heels, I find them uncomfy, and you want like a smart shoe that looks the part, but is also comfy. And practical. Hence where these come in. I've styled up an outfit with a beloved Topshop kind of check suit, double-breasted jacket and a slim trouser. Such a good one. We've had this for quite a while. had it a really, really long time. And funnily enough, I said to Philippa when I was wearing it, I've worn it so many times. The jacket by itself, the trousers with a polo neck, or even as a suit. And with these shoes. Um, and you could add a sock if you're if it's cold and wintry yeah. because that is the thing, it is a bit cold to wear these. But weirdly, I know a lot of my friends do often say to me, oh my gosh, bare ankles, but for some reason the back of your foot doesn't really get that cold. Do you know what I mean? I know what you mean, but we have worn them with like a fishnet or yeah. like a thin, like a um, like a denier, like yeah. a 10 denier sock or something. Tight sock? What would you call it? Tight sock? So, um, so yeah, so I started up with a suit and just kind of a bucket bag, which I think will be a perfect look to wear to the office. Absolutely, and also because our whole thing is never wanting to feel too overdressed, too done, too put, well, not put together, yeah. but like at the same time, you don't want to feel like you're literally stepping into the office in your power suit and your like. Yeah. So it's, it's nice. to take on it, I think. Exactly, and it's nice to have these loafers that dress it down, but also make it really fashion forward. But make still it really smart, because if you are going to a meeting or you've got an important lunch or breakfast, you don't want to not look the part. Yeah. So I think that these work really well dressed for up sure. for the office. So for look number two, we sh so for one, sorry, we showed you really dressed up, kind of smart for the office, and Phil's is gonna show you. And for you like a total comparison, down. so like a total opposite look, are typical, I was gonna say weekend, but it's not even weekend look every anymore. Day. It's every day. We say to each other the whole time, what do you wear during the week when you're not shooting for twin set? And we both live in our joggers and cashmere and knitwear, don't we? Yeah, and specifically, and specifically the, me and, the me and M joggers. And I know that we talk about them the whole time, but you know what? You've gotta practice what you preach and you've gotta, I just, I feel so passionate about these trousers. And they're so comfy, they are really, really flattering, the side stripe is so slimming. That's the thing, because- And they work really well As much as like when we're with the boys and we're, you know, going to the park, doing a food shop, going to a sensory class, you wanna be comfortable. But at the same time, there's a difference between wearing like your joggers and also them feeling put together. Yeah. And that's what we always like to feel. We like to feel done but still obviously really comfortable and that's why the me and m side stripe joggers are just blissful and they're so comfortable so comfortable they never crease they don't there's actually technology in them to say that they and don't. i think another important thing is that they come 
you know, every single colour. Okay. So, for example, the red might not be for everyone, but yeah. black and white or the new dark grey with the white stripe. And the ones that I've got um, in this cutaway now are actually a new style that you told me about. Yeah. They've got a thicker side stripe, yeah. which I think is really flattering, um, especially for a jogger. And what's really nice about them is that they've got that cuffed angle, which is why which works really well with these bad boys. Because I think if you're going to have a wide tracksy bottom no. and then these, it would no, look a bit weird, but it no. kind of tapers the look together, brings Makes it all it together. sleek and sophisticated. And I like how you styled it with kind of a shorter, a shorter top. Yeah, so this is their me and M, it's their cashmere boxy knit, which I've had for years, probably about three years now. They do it season after season, all different colorways. Um, and it's a great length, isn't it, yeah. with those joggers? Because sometimes, again, if you are giving it a smarter edge with these, you wouldn't want to go too baggy on the top and then baggy at the bottom than these. I think it would look slightly off. Yeah. So proportionally, it works quite nice with a shorter, kind of more Definitely. tailored top and then the trousers. So that's our mm -hmm. dress down look with Gucci loafers, look number two. Right, so look number three. Look number three is a dress. Now, you know how much I love dresses in the summer. I'm really trying to bring this love affair back to winter. And obviously bare legs is a bit tricky now. Yeah. And I'm not sure like minus. with tights, how I feel about these with tights, but maybe when it's not minus degrees outside, I would say go for kind of a real midi, longer length sure. dress. Because no minis. Mini is just not the right look. Okay. And I think maxi, when you don't see any skin, is a not bit, right. it, it kind of makes you look a bit stumpy. Yeah. So I'd go for kind of midi, mid calf length. Um, and the dress that I've started up with is the top shot kind of button down. Which you had dress. in the summer, yeah. but in spotting. You, had it in, you shot it a few times in spotting, and then I shot the maternity one. Do you remember we did the top snake. shot pull? Yeah. yeah. So this is the new winter version, and it's like a brownie snake print with a bit of so green. Brown, like greeny. Yeah, with yeah. a bit of green in it, which is really, really nice. nice. Um, not too dark actually, so it's quite nice with the black and then the kind of lighter print up top. Belted in at the waist, so I find it really flattering, and it's just kind of a wear it anywhere piece. It really is. And I also think dresses, unless like, okay, in the summer we were just wearing our slides and our sandals, it's so easy to wear dresses in the summer. But in the winter, it is a little bit trickier thinking what to wear on your feet. And so I definitely feel like these slip-on Gucci loafers with dresses, again, that whole dress down, a dress down. Cold leg. Like, it is not okay, today maybe, when it's minus Maybe like in like a couple of weeks' yeah. time when it's a little bit... Yeah. And actually, I didn't style it up. I wanted to and I've now realised I've forgotten with a thin poem neck underneath to kind of give it like a wintry, more of a wintry feel. Maybe like a furry little jacket or like yeah. a long line dustery coat. And then these would be really nice. Really nice. So that's um, how to wear it with a dress. Right, number four. Number what four. Are we calling it? We're calling this sartorial chic. For those of you that don't understand what that actually means, basically... Minimal. Minimal, your kind of typical fashion editor kind of look. Um, but for us, it's just pure classic beauteness. Like yeah, just key, key wardrobe staple pieces thrown together. Right, that you live in day in, day out. A little right? bit like capsule wardrobe yeah. pieces, if you like to say it like that. But also our look, if we've got a meeting or if we're... Or even on the weekend, if you're meeting the girls for brunch and you want to feel a bit more put mm. together. Just a nice oversized blazer, a really Tailoring. simple knit. Exactly. Cashmere. Some, some cashmere. Or it doesn't have to be, you know, if you want to wear some nice like merino wool, say. Or a slogan or something. Exactly. And some nice, maybe... Um, vintage or mum style jeans with Gucci loafers is a really great, wearable, practical, always looks the part. You know those kind of looks where you wake up in the morning, you look at your wardrobe, what am I going to wear today? And I think it's the pieces that we go to time and time again, like like you said about a work meeting or something. If I really don't know what to wear, I'm always going to go for a bit of tailoring, yeah. a blazer, whether it's with a t-shirt or you a chunky knit. Off. And these, because they're classic, I mean, we've had these, as you said, for what, three three years or something. Yeah. And, and you our first pair. Yeah, and you just feel nice in them. You feel put together, but not too not too done up, not not undone, exactly. if that makes sense. And I think with the sartorial chicness we're talking about, is that kind of in-between dressing where you're put together, but not overdressed and not and in a really undressed. And way. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's look number four. And on to our final look. Look number five, the slip skirt. It feels as unsure about this. We sure. wanted to show you five different looks, and we don't really wear skirts, so I'm giving it a go for the team. 
So the slip skirt, the the take on the team, the slip skirt. Now, I'm sure you all saw the Topshop one that sold out and it comes like every single colour. It's sold out three, four I times. I feel like it's a real look of the moment. It's a total it? look of the moment. And it look, I really like the look. I'm not 100% sure myself, but I'm giving no, it a go. Really amazing. Anyway, this one's not from Topshop. Now, the first round of Topshop ones actually came a bit shorter. Did you try it? I tried it on and it was, I felt I looked a bit short and stumpy. Then the new drop was longer. However, every time I went to buy like a black or a navy, it sold out. So I saw the one I'm wearing here in on the New Look website. Oh, yeah, so it's a new look. look. And it's a really, really nice length. So it's kind of hitting quite low down on the shin. As you've seen everyone wearing it kind of with a jumper tucked I in. I think that's how it has yeah, to be. You can't done. dress it up. Yeah. Well, I don't feel com wouldn't feel comfortable dressing it up. Yeah. So I've actually got on this navy kind of chunky um, pearl neck, which is on River Island. And I really like that black and navy kind of simple, chic. Um, I felt a bit funerally wearing it with black. Too much black, yeah. And then I didn't want to wear quite it. Quite nice with khaki. Yeah, maybe. khaki, but grey felt a bit too stark, so I thought the navy was quite good. And then actually, when I was put on these shoes, I was thinking, they what are else the perfect would you wear? shoes. Yes, what, what else would I right. wear? Because I wouldn't want to wear a heel. Yeah. Or an ankle boot. Or an ankle boot, because then you've got that weird no. line of skin Maybe the a trainer, but I not did even. think a chunky trainer might be nice, but I don't know if that's me. But when I put the skirt on with this jumper, I felt like these shoes made it together for, for my time. But you know look. why these are also so great? It's because they're kind of like... So you know how sometimes when we wear trainers, we feel a bit too clumpy in yeah. them? So they are... Slimming on. Slimming. Exactly. But they're just as comfortable and yeah. practical, but they look like slim on your foot. Again, not for like minus two degrees outside, but when it's a bit warmer, I think it's a really great look. It was actually much easier to style than I thought because when we were talking about what to shoot, we said, oh, should we try a slip, slip skirt? You were like, I don't I'm know how you're gonna do it. And I, I liked it, I think I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna I think keep you it. Rock it really well. so guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That was our five outfits, looks to wear with our beloved backless Gucci loafers. Are they called the Prince Towns? Or is they, that the one yes. with the fur? We never know the real name of them. Oh. Well, we we'll will link, link them below. below so that you know exactly which ones they are. They're widely available. So, and um, I want to do a heads up, actually. If you want to invest for them, you can actually find them pre-loved. Some are like Vestiaire or eBay. Good point. Maybe not as worn as this, but often, you know, you get kind of really good deals on pre-loved sites. And it's definitely worth checking them out. If you go to store and try them on, find out your size. It's worth I know this sounds really weird, but when I first got them, however many years ago it was, a couple of years ago, and they were so fresh, and I thought, I just don't want to like wear them too much, I want to oh, keep I like them, them better. Because, but that's what I was about to say. Oh. I like actually how they've worn. Yeah, and considering we've worn them a lot, a I lot. think they've and worn they also quite like well. sweaty feet marks. Sweaty feet marks, and like scuffed toes from obviously walking <laughs> stupidly. But yes, five ways to style. We and hope you like the video. And inspired you maybe yes. to think, if you haven't got a pair of Gucci loafers, which ones to go for yeah. and how you would wear them so you can get your cost per wear. And also, one more thing, if you don't have the budget to invest, there are loads on the high street, aren't oh there? My like gosh, loads absolutely. of dupes, um, kind of really similar flattering styles. So we'll link up some dupes at the bottom yeah. as well if you feel like you want to try the look but not sure about making the investment. Or if you, yeah, exactly. Or and how, they are, how much even are they? 400. Yeah, but I think they go up. I know. Slowly. I think they're about 400 or something. We probably should have looked at this beforehand. So again, maybe good for like Valentine's or Birthday. birthdays or, or Mother's Day or, or just treat yourself day, <laughs> payday. Yeah. Um, but definitely cost per wear, they we think so in. anyway. So um, we hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please, please, please give us a little thumbs up and any below. comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with all of our latest content. All of our videos go live on Sunday evening 7 at 7.30. And, and we'll see you next week. Bye.